Well, ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's jump in and figure this game out, shall we? All right. So we've investigated this side of it about as much as I can. We get a little bit of a sense window or vision or whatever you want to call it when we come down here. But it's not very much. So that means we've still got more to do. So I've already moved the train back to the spot that did its thing. It showed me where to find a rock at earlier, and the rock had a blood stain on it. Where did I see that at? Will that let me do anything? Rock. Fix. Okay. That wasn't creepy as hell. Hmm. Now what happens if I go over to the body? Oh, hello. Uh, there's random white dots floating around in the air. Oh, and they all go off in different directions? What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Oh, okay. So we got an old guy standing over a body with a crank in his hand. Alright. We got a kid in a hoodie. Guy missing legs and old guy with a crank. Okay. Uh... Okay, that was the guy that was lying on the ground over there. Upright, still has his legs. And this is an old man. Not wielding a crank. But he's got a rock. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, okay. Got this guy kneeling on the ground. And... We have... A, the same kid is over there. But he's tied up, it looks like. With that weird guy there. Huh. Is this a put it into the right order scenario I'm guessing like some kind of chronology thing maybe but wait where would the old guy have gotten something's not right here unless yeah there we go I was thinking where did the old guy come from chronology He's picking up the rock over here. But why would he be picking the rock up unless he saw what was going on up there first? Alright, I'm thinking this happened first. I think that happened first. I think the old guy saw it and picked up a rock. I guess to crack the other guy in the head so he could free the kid. So, 
Yeah, I think that happens second. Alright, this has got the two of them standing here, side by side. He has the rock in his hand there, so I'm going to go with three for that one. And I guess he cracks this guy in the head. They have a little fight. He ends up over here. The train moves along, does its thing. He crawls away. The kid comes over. The old man comes up to finish the job with a crank. And then he finishes the job. Let's see if that works. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy Travis and Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. What? Kale. Honey. I wish there was another way. Talking to Travis, Gale? Tell me where Ethan is. Now, I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> Ooh. That was a nice thunk to the head. Alright, so the kid's getting out of the ropes. Good. That's painful. Ethan, run, goddamn it! Go, get out of here. So the old man was protecting the kid. Travis, close your eyes. Okay, so. Straight up murder. Though, I mean, it was murder in defense of a child. So I don't know if that really constitutes full murder or not. It's not technically self defense, but it's defense of a kid. Alright, the light went down here somewhere Grandpa stay away Ethan I'm sick too I can feel the sleeper in my head Then fight it I have to destroy the room Corvus I'm sorry Ethan Oh no I can't let you do that Oh the sleeper. Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience, but because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Okay, that's one way to look at it, I guess. Kind of an odd way to look at it, but it is technically a way to look at it. Hmm. So now we know what happened back there. We already went over and explored most of this area. I guess as we continue along, because there, there is something that looks like a train yard, or at least a train station over here. So I'm gonna guess we get presented with another puzzle over here. The train definitely hasn't run through this area in quite a while. See nothing along the train track itself. Oh, 
whole area seems almost abandoned. Like, do people still live in this valley? I'm legitimately kind of curious. Because it doesn't seem to be much in the way of life around here. No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. They would call that dark. Dark things grow. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's a cool shot. So, cross the. That's not really a bridge, it's more of a dam. Looks like we've got some kind of house and barn situation, maybe? Hmm. I'm not seeing anything pop up around any of this stuff. I will, however, say this much. Uh, I apologize for my earlier skepticism when I first started the game about, oh yeah, we'll see if, you know, the game doesn't hold your hand. We'll, we'll see about that. It, it's not actually holding your hand at all it definitely makes you kind of think about what you're doing here kind of throws you in just yells swim hmm so now here's the real question do we go across the bridge and dam oh hello So there's a dam. Is that a hydroelectric plant down there? There's no way. This place isn't rigged for hydroelectric power, is it? Once again, gorgeous vista right there. Just absolutely gorgeous. But like, there's no way this place is rigged up for hydroelectric. At least it doesn't look like it is. Maybe I'm just stupid. All right, I don't see anything else with regards to the railroad track. So I'm going to guess we're supposed to follow that road and go back. But I do want to search a little bit. We're heading across to there. Yeah, that's where it turns off at to go back up in there. What's over here? Anything? Nope. He keeps talking about all this, you know, stuff that's things that are dark growing in the rot and all that kind of stuff. I want to make sure there's nothing going to come up and goose me from behind, as it were. Because that would be less than ideal. I mean, it might make for, you know, a funny video clip. Me jumping out of my skin. But... It's not quite what we want to have happen. I've seen every version of people hurting each other. Hurting themselves. And they blame it on compulsion. Selfishness. Madness. I suppose the idea is, if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. Once again, just... You can just sit there and crank out shot after shot after shot for, like, personal desktop use. Oh, that is such gorgeous footage. 
and scenery right there. That is a series of dams. Mm, maybe, maybe it is set up for hydroelectric. Instead of having everything run through one singular dam, have it run as a waterfall system down multiple. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is a hydroelectric plant down there. I mean, if this place is as remote and out of the way as everybody in that newspaper article was complaining about, maybe, maybe it would make sense? I don't know how much maintenance hydroelectric dams require. Okay, so that building is clearly in rough shape. I don't know, there doesn't look terrible. What are these? Some kind of power structure or? It puts me in mind of, um, my family used to go to a place called Topsail Island off the coast of North Carolina and there were a couple of existing World War II bunkers that looked a little bit like that, except they were much taller. They were probably a good like five or six stories tall. They're fully made out of concrete and they're just like a tower. It was there to guard the Atlantic shoreline during World War II. It puts me in mind of that, but if this is just a valley with like a, effectively a lake, or I guess technically a river. I don't know how much sense that would make. I guess it's possible though. All right, I'm gonna check down here. It's hard to tell where exactly you're supposed to look, where you're not supposed to look, all that kind of stuff. But we've got a nice little tunnel right here. I've stepped through too many ports, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting, whenever I return, to bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Hmm. Memories without homes. Okay. Wow. So this will just let you run anywhere you want to. Interesting. There doesn't seem to be a map controller or anything like that. I'm assuming I need to go back and investigate those houses back there. But I'm also curious about why I'm able to run all the way over here. Because, like, this obviously is a lot of effort to build this segment of map. So you wouldn't have this if there wasn't a reason for it. Okay, well, this is padlocked. That's one way to stop you from going there, I guess. Interesting. Of course, then again, I could be running around. This could be like the end game. Like, this is where the story ends at. Uh, but you showed up, you know, way, way, way too early. You skipped from page 5 to page 319. And now you're wondering why you don't understand what's going on. I guess there must be copper in these hills. Just looking at the rocks. It is nice that they're just giving you this much freedom to kind of just run around and explore. On your own. Dead, have to say. You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk downstairs that disappear beneath their feet. Headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. Well, that's depressing. OK. 
Okay, that looks more like a cathedral than a house or anything. It's intriguing. Hmm. So is this the same place that I was at earlier? Oh, some dedicated mausoleum in the back? Okay, yeah, this, I think this might actually be a church. Because this is definitely a graveyard. Ooh, that's a long fall. Here we go. Uh, oh, hello. People come here for many reasons. What the hell? Questions about the future. I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Um What? Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? Interesting questions. When your words cause pain. Oh, the person would say yes to that. Do you take that which you know you will not return? No, I'm generally not a thief. I mean, those are opposite sides of the same coin. Depends on the sin, I guess. Okay. I did not think I was going to stumble upon that. Ooh, hello. Beautiful woman set by a river. A witch approached, told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy. Joy turned to fear. She could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born. The crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. She asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions after hearing the answers. Which told the boy he had lied to the mother about her child. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared. The mother was beautiful again. Well, that's kind of messed up. Huh. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I agree with you on that, but okay. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it. You know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious being... Just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Love, Mom. Hmm. I mean, the kid's a storyteller. There's nothing wrong with that. The downside to this, I have no idea where I am. Interesting that I ran into a vision just sporadically there. I have no idea how it lines up with anything else in the game. So that could be kind of awkward. Alright, the water is over there. So that's good. At least I have that to go off of. Uh... Hmm. So if I want to go back down towards the dam area... Is that over in this direction? It appears to be. Yes. Alright. So that was over in that direction. That's where we ran into that. Cool. Oh, 
like I said before, this is it's a very unusual game. It's structure seems a lot what's the right word? Looser than most story based games are. But that might not be a bad thing. Like it's kinda like, hey, we're taking the training wheels off, just go explore, find stuff, get into trouble. Which is it's interesting. Not sure how I feel about it. But it's it's definitely interesting. So anyways, like I said, it, it'll definitely keep on going. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to see what I'm going to uncover next time by accidentally walking into it face first, well, subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you know when the new videos come out. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. Catch you in the next one.